Hey Island team, I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you. Thank you for all your work. Thank you for your tireless effort. We have had the joy of seeing literally hundreds of young people trust Jesus as their savior and thousands dedicate their lives to the Lord. Truly, it has been amazing to watch so many campers take their next step with Jesus. You've been a huge part of that. I know it was hard, I know it was trying, but God has been faithful. I was thinking of a verse to share with you and it's found in Philippians chapter one, verse three, where Paul's writing to the church of Philippi and he says, every time I think about you, I thank God for you. What an incredible team God put together for such a time as this. Seeing all those campers having fun. My best part of camp is probably the pizza party at the end of the week. <laughs> what is your favorite part about summer camp so far? Um, definitely seeing lives change this week. Hey guys, we're the Island Lifeguards. Wave to the camera. <laughs> yes! Hi, I'm Becca. Welcome to the Snack Shack. Who wouldn't want a giant What are we doing here? Got some drone stuff here on the island. We have 70 work orders that we need to get done. Hi, I'm Jacob, and I'm the most handsome person on the <laughs> Bella and Layla at the camp store. This is my favorite sweater. That's a good question. I think that the first thing that pops to mind when I think about it is just how weak 
and unable I am to do anything if it's not for the Lord. God called us, called me, to do an impossible mission. Like just the mission of making disciples, of sharing them Jesus, is completely impossible if I'm not doing it by His power. So I think for the next step for me, it's just reminding myself that if it's not by the Spirit, I can't do anything. God has taught me a lot this summer through being a counselor. And one of those things is just to be like fully dependent on Him and to be obedient to Him. As a counselor, I feel like you have to have a bunch of like hard conversations with campers and like to see life change and to see them grow from like just like one week, you have to be fully dependent on God. I've just seen campers like completely do like a 360, like accept Jesus and like that is all God right there working. Just to like trust in the power of God, like He can work through situations and His will will be done and like whatever He wants to do will be accomplished as long as I'm faithful him, he won't be uh, God's really taught me patience and how to seek refuge in God when times are difficult and just how I can put my faith in the Lord even when things are unstable around me. I think I want to be able to spend more time with God each day and just really focus on Him and kind of not all my anxieties and worries just because the Lord is the rock that I can stand on. I am the office lead, so I have a lot of informal discipleship, but that has taught me a lot. It's taught me that I need to be intentional in all of my conversations with people, not just when I'm meeting with someone one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and it also taught me that I should always be ready to have a good godly conversation with someone because God just kind of provides those opportunities randomly. And above everything, like just be really willing to be used by God in all areas of life. So this summer through being a camp group counselor, God has just taught me um, that ministry looks different than I kind of thought it would. I thought, you know, there's a group of people who do ministry and full-time people who work full-time. Um, but ministry and full-time work can look the same. You can minister to those around you, even through just the practical of teaching them how to work harder, how to be on time. Since ministry is just a part of everyone's life, no matter who you are, no matter what you do, use every opportunity, use every day of my life to be in ministry, whether I'm just working on the daily or going to church, whatever that looks like. Ministry can be done everywhere, just loving anyone around you. Um, as God provides the opportunities. God has really been teaching me this summer how to surrender all of my thoughts to Him. Like, things that are insignificant and um, things that really, really are super deep. Challenges and big decisions. Really being intentional with my quiet times. And whether it's a quiet time or just going and sitting and like talking to God, like He really wants to hear what's on your heart, what's on your mind. And He wants to use you, so just being willing to be usable. Yeah, I think the biggest thing God taught me through counseling this summer is just that this is only a work that God can do. Like, we plant the seed, uh, but God's the only one that can water it. Um, and I don't know, even last week there was two brothers um, that were both atheists. Um, and I was really discouraged the whole week about it. Um, but then God just came in and just like it saved them and it was so cool to see by the end of the week they were so much more joyful and they had put their faith in Jesus and it was only a work that he could do. I think it's just really taught me to like push on like the ministry doesn't stop just this summer you know like this will carry on through the rest of my life. me You tore down strong walls just to find me The beggar's cup was filled with grace Now I'm seated with a king Your kindness leads me to repentance You cancel death, you serve my sentence My inheritance is overflow Cause I'm seated with the King Search 
me, prune me. I know your words are true. Vindicate me, consecrate me, make me one with you. Unqualified, you justify me. Feasting with the king who left his stone for me, enthroned upon my praises and clothed in majesty. He is holy, and I am underdressed.